I love restaurant coloring books. I think that they're kind of an underground art, and it's something that you come into contact with on a pretty regular basis, if you have a kid, of course. But I think it's very special to be able to color at a restaurant. I don't know, there's just something about it. It's always appealed to me, and I think it's hilarious when I ask for a coloring book, being a grown-ass man, and they just look at me like I'm some kind of crazy person, which I am, but that's beside the point. I decided we would go through all of the coloring books, the restaurant coloring books that are out there. This is a big opportunity and I want to start off strong, okay? This is like the, the, the cream of the crop here. Let's start with Hooters, okay? Hooters, bro. Hooters has a children's coloring book. Isn't that interesting? It's kind of like how they had to make uh, gas masks for children during World War II. You're kind of like, why does this exist? You know what I mean? I hate that this thing has to exist because the existence of a Hooters coloring book means that there are people who take children to Hooters, which just seems kind of odd, you know? It's just kind of like, you want your little child to be in that weird ass environment where people are like just staring at these girls and it just feels weird in there. It feels uncomfortable to me. The fact that this thing exists is just crazy to me. It's insane. For a coloring book, there's not much coloring here. All right, check how much of this is already colored in. We're gonna be grading on a couple different metrics. The colorability of the coloring book, right? If there's a kid's menu attached with it, the crayons and some other thing, I don't know, the sauce aspect of it, how cool it is, you know what I mean? So for this, it's Hooters Jump Ball. Okay, so you can play tic-tac-toe with a family member. That's kind of cool, right? That's a classic thing to play tic-tac-toe with your kid. That's fun, I actually enjoy that because it's like a two-player thing, right? But there's also a kid's menu on this as well for kids 12 and under. Now, if you're really poor, if you're like in college or something, it's a really solid bet to get something off of the kid's menu if they'll let you do it. Cause there's actually some pretty good finds most of the time. All kids entree 650 on here, that's pretty good, you know, compared to, it's probably like 20 bucks just for two f wings at this place. But there's not, there's not much to color here. They give you crayons and there's not much to color, but they do have their own Hooter cinematic universe of of like characters and sh you know, all these guys. By the way, the Hooters Owl is supposed to be titties. You know that, right? That's supposed to be boobies there. That's what it's supposed to look like. Anyways, let's get back to this kid's menu. So the other side has plenty of games on it. There's play by play, which I guess you just match the word on the left with the word on the right. So like, I guess bounce, pass, free shot. This is also like a basketball themed one, which I don't know, maybe I picked this up during like basketball season. I have no f clue. There's like a maze as well. The maze is a classic one because kids' mazes are easy as f I always do them super f quick. Okay, this will definitely entertain an eight year old who, uh, you know, isn't staring at an iPad every day. Sure shot. So you have to trace the line. Okay, that's pretty easy. Double dribble. Oh, yeah, matching, I guess. Or you have to figure out which one's uh, exactly the same. So there's some actually some solid games on here. Like this will keep your kid entertained while they bring out the chicken wings from the girl who's in college and just trying to work her way through beauty school and working at Hooters with her titties out, you know? This will definitely keep him entertained and will keep him from staring too hard at the girls and not really understanding what he's feeling. I think it's pretty good. I do wish that they would have more to color. There's like nothing to actually color on here and they do give you crayons. Oh, you can color the owl. You see how big this thing is? Do you see how large this sheet is? They could have given you plenty of real estate to color color, you know, and they just don't give you anything, which really sucks. But at least you can get curly fries. Dude, you can choose between curly fries or waffle fries. That's insane. Okay, that actually bumps it up a tier. Most places you only get one or the other. They also have chocolate milk, so that's pretty nice. There's like fun facts on here. I don't know. Eh. There's the Hooters booby owl. There's a fox guy. A, is that a skunk or a raccoon? And then a chipmunk? I think the chipmunk's a girl. Hold on, you see that? I think the chipmunk's a girl because she has a, a bow in her hair. Maybe he just likes style. The raccoon is also a girl, I think. So that's fun. At least they're, uh, what do you call it, diverse? Yeah, there's some diversity in the Hooters uh, expanded universe, you know? 
So I would love to know the lore of the Hooters universe. That's really what I'm looking forward to. Marvel is kind of bullshit these days. I, I got, you know, I'm not invested anymore after Endgame. I'm really eager to see what the Hooters expanded universe does with these characters, you know, and the journeys that they can be on. So one last thing, let's take a look at the crayons as well. I think, I don't know, they're all mixed up. They're either these crayons, like these yellow and green ones. I don't know. I got I got a million coloring books in one day, okay? Or they're these green and orange ones. You see how these are longer? I think it was these green and orange ones, actually. But take a look at this, okay? These roll around for one thing. We're gonna see. There's some very good crayons later. It's gonna blow your mind. But um, green and orange, n not really the most diverse of colors. You know, if you're gonna be coloring, you want to have plenty of different options. You know what I mean? Like, they could have given me better colors. Of course, that still counts against them. And also, there's no logo. There's no nothing on the crayons. Like, it's little touches like putting the logo on that makes the 13-year-old kid, when he goes to Hooters for the first time, and he sees all these girls with their titties out, it makes him remember that. And he's like, oh, I should go back to Hooters again when I'm older and I can harass those women. You build a customer that way. So I think Hooters, if you really put your logo on these crayons, I think that would help you um, lure in these uh, these kids that you indoctrinate from a young age. I think that would be great for you guys. Not the best crayons. These are very, you can just see they're like cheapy ass factory type. They make a million, a million of these in Taiwan every second, you know? For me, this coloring book is more just interesting because it exists. You know what I mean? Like, would you think that Hooters has a coloring book? That to me is just crazy. That they have a kid's menu and that they, you know, like they, they think families go to Hooters? Would you take your family to Hooters, bro? I think on that, I don't know. Let's say, mm, I would give this like, let's say two out of five, four out of 10, maybe like, I don't know, a D on the on the tier list. Not a very strong start, but I just kind of wanted to show this like, to me, this is an eccentric item. You know what I mean? Like this is rare. Next up, Olive Garden. See, now right off the bat, don't even, don't even look about anything else. Don't even think about the breadsticks, okay? I know you're thinking about the breadsticks. Don't think about that. Just shut up and look at this. Look at the color that's here. Okay, look at the look at the design. All right, it's a book. It's an actual book. You open it up. The other one I just folded because it was just a big piece of paper. This is an actual book. Okay, this is this is way more interesting. There's a lot of layers to this. It's called the Book of Fun with Ollie's Treehouse and the Adventures of Ollie and Friends. So I'm guessing that's Ollie the Olive on there. I do like the color. I think it's very bright and vibrant. The characters look a little bit deranged. You know, they've got their eyes going different ways and shit. I don't know about that. All of their eyes are going different ways. That's kind of creepy. For one thing, you can sign your name at the top of the first page. It says, this adventure belongs to, and then you can put your name. That's very cute. That's nice. And that encourages the kid to keep it as well so that he'll remember his fun time out or her fun time out with her family. See, what's kind of interesting is that they say one, pay, step one, order your eats from the back page and then play. So they do have a kid's menu with this. It is 50 cents more expensive than at Hooters, but you know, in return, your your kid doesn't get traumatized at a young age. So that's pretty cool. 1% milk and a choice of side for children under 12. Interesting, okay. So they've got some solid choices on here. You know, kids just love eating chicken fingers and pizza and shit, you know? They got mac and cheese, pepperoni pizza, chicken fingers and spaghetti. What? That just sounds like something you would heat up in the microwave. Well, that, that's most of Olive Garden's foods anyways, but the chicken fingers and spaghetti sounds kind of weird, but everything else on here actually sounds pretty decent for a kid's meal, you know? So get this, you can create your own pasta. That's actually pretty cool. Man, you can get f small shells in your Olive Garden pasta. That's insane. You can get some mother shrimp in there. Are you kidding me right now? See, this is what I'm talking about with the cheap college eats. Let's say you want a dessert, but you're poor as f Get the uh, frozen smoothie, 250 for a smoothie at Olive Garden. That's pretty good, especially compared to how everything is like minimum $18 for a 
drink these days, you know? And there's also a secret message as well. Kids love secret messages. I love secret messages. That's pretty cool. Like that's a good thing, you know? Tic-tac-toe is always pretty solid. Can you spy with your little eye everything hidden in Ollie's treehouse? Seek and find. Whoa, it's like the the people in this image here, they kind of look like, like a bit moji. That's what they look like on here. Again, those characters look demented. The ravioli here, his eyes are crazy. I don't know why they look so insane. Tanya's grill hut? Who's Tanya? You can kind of find the different stuff in the treehouse. You can find the little characters. They all have names. Gina Grape, Ricky Ravioli. Ollie the Olive, Tanya Tomato. Who's Tanya? You know, there's actually some pretty solid stuff on here. I do think that the Hooters one had more games. I feel like this one's just better presentation wise. This is a pretty good cover, all right? And then you go inside and all of this stuff is just open right before you. That's pretty good. I was about to rate it, but I forgot. Crayons, boom. They gave me a blue and they gave me a red. Very solid color choices, because all you need is yellow and then you've got every color, right? I think it's totally fine to give kids one or two uh, crayons at the restaurant, because if you give them any more, they're gonna eat them or something. I think blue and red is very good. They're really solid colors. I don't know if they had any other ones, but also get this. They have the Olive Garden logo on the crayon. And that's that little touch that they didn't have to do, but someone at corporate was like, you know what? We should get our logo on the crayons. And that is a good ass call. Well done. You guys may make everything from the frozen food aisle at Walmart, but these crayons are spot on, my man. Whatever Chinese company you paid to do this, you're not paying them enough. It even says Italian kitchen underneath. These are good crayons, good colors. You can tell there's quality put into them because they put the logo on there. Very nice. Um, there was plenty of games to play. It wasn't really colorable though. You would really just be circling things on the page or like decoding the secret message. So not a lot to color. Actually, I don't think there was anything to color. I feel like the kids menu was pretty good. You could even create your own pasta on it as well, which is kind of a lot of choice for a kid, you know? I think this is a solid four out of five, let's say eight tier. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say, mm, ah, actually you couldn't color anything. B tier, uh, B plus, A minus, A minus plus tier, Olive Garden, well done. When was the last time y'all went to On the Border? I'm kind of surprised the one near me hasn't gone out of business yet. Cause I don't really know who goes there besides like middle-aged parents that want some margaritas in the middle of the week, you know? Let's start off strong. Look at all of this beautiful coloring space here. Look at this. Literally a blank canvas. That is what you need. That is a fantastic start. A kid could draw a little stick man family here, very cute. He could like write down the industrial revolution and his consequences could all go right here. They have all this bullshit about no kid hungry. And also this is a kid's menu. Do you think the kid cares about donating to charity and all that stuff? They're still picking boogers out of their nose and they're just, you know, blasting f***ing Coco Melon on their iPad, you know, while they're looking at this, so. There's also a word search with different, like, you know, Mexican food stuff, nachos, tic-tac-toe. Tic-tac-toe is a classic, okay? I think every single coloring book today has tic-tac-toe. That's pretty good. Also, get this, $1.29 for a chocolate sundae, okay? That's pretty good. You're a poor college kid. You go to On the Border, you get some margaritas so that you can forget about finals for a minute. You get yourself a motherfucking chocolate sundae. This is a beautiful coloring book. <laughs> We ha I haven't even looked at the kids menu yet. Mexican favorites, kids tacos, big kids nachos, enchilada plate, grilled chicken soft taco, cheese quesadilla. For the cheese quesadilla, it says, it's like a grilled cheese, but with a tortilla cut into four triangles. I like that the they have little, um, descriptions for this for kids to read. You can tell there's actual effort put into this. Now, there's not any kind of expanded universe of characters like they have for Olive Garden and for Hooters, right? But whenever they, you know, you subtract something like that, cause you don't need that, you know? Whenever you subtract that element, 
it leaves you with a lot of room to play around. And that's what kids want. They're not gonna remember Ollie the Olive or the f boobies Hooter Owl, you know? They're just gonna draw, you know, their, their best friend at school on here or whatever it is. With that kind of simplification, you get a lot of avenues for creativity. And I think this is the most creative example of that. It's very simple. There's like no games on here besides the tic-tac-toe and the word find. You know, and there's also the drawing, of course, but those are the only games. If the kid doesn't want Mexican food, you can get him a corn dog, bro. You know you could still buy a corn dog at a restaurant? By the way, it's seven dollars. It's kind of bullshit. That's a terrible price. Chicken strips for $7.79, that's a way better deal. I think this is a very solid, um, coloring book, very solid kids menu. There's nice pictures, it all looks good, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's some actual, like, thought put into this. This, to me, is like the holy grail right here. Just having this box here, that to me is amazing. And I think plenty of kids will, you know, enjoy that. I use the coloring book every time I go to a restaurant. I always get it. You know, if I was a kid, I would love this kid's menu because I can draw all over it. Kids don't give a f you know, they just want to draw on sh So we didn't even look at the crayons yet. I was about to rate it. I think the crayons were these ones. These are green and yellow. Not the strongest colors. There's no red, there's no blue, there's no, you know, like there's no sass here. So the crayons I do have to mark off for, they don't have their logo on it either. It just says crayons. And these are some tiny ass crayons as well. You can tell they're trying to cut costs by not buying the full size crayons. They just buy the tiny ass ones because your kid's just going to shove them up his nose anyways. He's not going to use them, you know? The crayons are kind of the worst part and that sucks because you have so much drawing space on here, you know, so much space there and you're not giving them the tools to use it. Three out of five, let's call it B tier. On the border, B tier. Everything else is great except for the crayons. And the price is $7 for a corn dog. Now this is a very strong contender today. Very strong. Texas Roadhouse. It doesn't even say Texas Roadhouse on the front. They have their own Marvel Expanded Universe type, you know? They get all their dumb little characters like an armadillo and a skunk and whoever else, I don't know. See, what really gets me is, does the fish count? Technically, that fish is dead, you know? It's kind of f***ed up to put a dead fish on a kid's menu, don't you think? It's the Ranger Academy, starring Andy Armadillo, Clementine Skunk, Iggy Iguana, and Jack Jackalope. Andy and his pals are packed up and headed to the lake for a day of peace and quiet on the water. Iggy can't wait to learn all about native fish, and Clem's got fun ideas for water games to pass the time. And if they spot any litter on the shoreline, they'll pick it up to help keep the great outdoors great. So they're trying to get kids to pick up their trash. That's actually a good message. I like that right off the bat. You open it up, what is the first thing you see? Look at all of this beautiful real estate. Look at that. Beautiful real estate, plenty to color here. Very nice. You can even draw some fish in the lake, it recommends that. And then you have a kayak race as well towards the bottom. There's also a word search, tic-tac-toe. Once again, that's four coloring books with tic-tac-toe. That's pretty nice, man. Hmm. So what is that, like four games on here? Not bad. And then they also have the kids menu. All beef hot dog, macaroni and cheese, mini cheeseburgers, junior chicken tenders, grilled chicken, little dillo steak bites. What is that? So you can get the little dillo steak bites. I don't even know for how much, but okay. So just little piece, like bit sized steak things. Okay. Chicken critters basket. Andy's steak, ranger rib basket. Bro, you can get ribs on the kids menu. You can get a lemonade for 99 cents. That's pretty fucking good. They got steak fries, corn, applesauce. Is there any milk? Bro. I don't think there's any milk on here. That is such bullshit. They don't have chocolate milk on the menu. This isn't even my favorite part of the coloring book. Check this out, you're gonna sh your pants. The crayons are triangular. Triangle cr 
crayons. You see that? You see that? They stack on each other. They stack. They stack. Isn't that crazy? They do this so that they don't roll off the table. They make them like this so they don't roll because your dumb little kid's gonna drop them and it falls off the table and then you gotta go looking for it. They thought of that. Triangle crayons. Have you ever seen this in your life? This blew me away, blew me right back, and then blew me away again. All of them have their logo on it, and, and, they even have their own color names. There's Giddy Up Green. Very cute, very cute. They have Ranger Red. I mean, not the most inventive, but it's something. Buckaroo Blue. Isn't that crazy that they have their own color names? And also red, blue, and green are very strong colors. That's pretty much all you need. I think that's very strong, very well done. There's no chocolate milk, bro. You're not gonna let a kid get chocolate milk with his ribs, you know? That seems a little odd to me, but I'm willing to overlook that. There's a coloring portion. There's a kid's menu that's well done. They have their own personal kid's items here, okay? I feel like this coloring book has the best of both worlds because they have their own universe. They have the colorable part. They have games. They have tic-tac-toe and they have the kids menu as well. I think this is it. I think this is like S tier. I'm gonna say five out of five. Perfect. Texas Roadhouse, perfect kids menu. Well done. Bellissimo. This is a strong contender as well. This is Red Lobster. It was given to me this way. So they fold them up. This is one more little piece to do. This kind of throws you off, right? It's something more to the excitement. This is great, you know? It's something more you have to do. So you get to f f unfold it. This is a big ass coloring book here, man. It's all colored lobster scouts, snorkeling scouts, lobster chat. So there's like facts on here. The snorkeling scouts, okay? There's plenty of stuff on here. There's plenty of games. There's not really a coloring section though. There is the mystery mosaic. Who's the mystery animal? Color in only the triangles to find out. I'm pretty sure that's a seahorse. That's pretty easy. But you could color in the seahorse. I guess you could do that. Bubble boxes. Oh my God. There's no tic-tac-toe in this one. Four different coloring books and they put in tic-tac-toe. Red lobster, no tic-tac-toe. There is no tic-tac-toe in here. There's a crossword, which a crossword is kind of kind of weird for a kid's thing. I don't know, that's kind of an adult thing. There's like a matching thing for shells. Oh, you can color in like the coral reef there. That's kind of cute. There's this other game, Bubble Boxes. Take turns with a buddy connecting the bubbles. If you complete a square, claim it with your initials and go again. Whoever gets the most squares wins. That's not as fun as tic-tac-toe though. I've never seen that game before. That kind of looks dumb. This kid's menu looks nice. This, you know, very nice presentation on this kid's menu. It even warns you about food allergies. Popcorn shrimp, 749. That is a f highway robbery. Grilled chicken, 799 for one slab of grilled chicken. Wow, such great uh, artistry there. Just, just grilled chicken on a plate with nothing else. He's just gonna eat a slab of chicken. Ooh, but you can get milk. You can get 1% milk, but you can't get chocolate milk. You can get regular milk, but not chocolate milk. What kid drinks regular milk? You need chocolate milk, okay? See, for the sides, you can get orange wedges, which is pretty good. That's pretty nice. Ooh, see, get this. Surf's up Sunday, $1.99. That's pretty nice. A Sunday for $2. I actually remember ordering that one time with my homie when we went there a while ago and it was pretty good. It was worth $1.99, you know, that was cool. And this coloring book is weird. There's some things it gets right and some things it misses. But let me show you, I don't know. This is kind of, uh, here, just, just look, just look. Two green crayons. Now, in Red Lobster's defense, the lady that handed me the coloring book, she just dug her hand in this giant bin of crayons and just handed me two random ones and they were both green. So I don't know the odds of that, but it's pretty funny. They also have their logo on them, which is pretty cool. Lobster Scouts, you see that? Green, yeah, very cute, very cute. So that's cool. They're not triangular either. These are round as f boy. 
So, you know, just like your girl's ass. I don't know, it's just... With this coloring book, there's so many like, it's all colored for one thing. You do get to color in the coral reef, that's nice. There's plenty of games, but there's no tic-tac-toe. What kid is gonna play a crossword? Kids do mazes, they do tic-tac-toe, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's also fun facts about like animal or uh, coral reefs and the different animals of the sea, you know, the fishies and all that sh so that's cool. The color palette is very nice. Two green crayons. Oh, but it was folded when they handed it to you. That's kind of cute. That's nice. It's one more, one more element to it, you know, and it's unique. <sighs> I'm gonna go with three out of five, okay? Three out of five. Mm, no, that seems too high. Two out of five. Let's call it C tier. C tier on the list. I think that works. Two green crayons, bro. Now everything, I just compare it to Texas Roadhouse. Cause I'm like, once you see Texas Roadhouse, you don't go back, you know what I mean? Okay, so I just rewatched this part again when I was prepping the footage for my editor. By the way, thank you editor, you're the best. I cannot believe that I put Olive Garden above on the border when you can't even like color f Olive Garden. So uh, f Olive Garden uh, on the border is going to A tier and it's gonna stay there. Um, Olive Garden can stay at B plus or whatever I said, I don't know. Um, but I'm also moving Hooters to F tier just because I feel like it. So, uh, each Hooters. All right, back to it. That's all of the coloring books. I spent way too much of my life doing this. At least I'm not the one that has to edit it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's about it for me. Um, Texas Roadhouse Supremacy. You know, that actually makes sense since there's probably a lot of white supremacists that go to Texas Roadhouse. Y'all have a good one. I'll see you later.